ready? Good night. <laughs> Good night, somebody. Let me let me, let me put on this this. Come here looking like a pastor. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Savannah. And welcome to your favorite online internet program, www.sxmtalk.com. And yes, we have been off for almost a month. And I have to blame it all on my engineer, but we are happy that he's back. He took a little um, absence of leave. He had some business to take, in, to, take, to take care of overseas. It took him some while, but um, I was sure, made of sure that... Uh, you know, all is well. He got his business sorted out. And yes, he has to travel again, but we will be on for a while because he's back for a couple of months. So it's good that we can get the program up and running. So to everyone out there who keeps sending a message and asking if, if Tio kicked me off of the air and this happened and that happened, and I had to laugh and say, no, that's not the case, but I could imagine everyone feeling that way. But we are here tonight, and uh, we're going to promise you a very interesting program. So I want to thank everyone for logging on and tuning in. I know we just sent it up on the Facebook page what we'll be talking about tonight. We'll be showing you two videos because everyone know the hottest thing or the hottest news around right now is the alleged bribery scandal of one of our members of parliament, Patrick Illage. And yes, I have to use the word alleged because nothing has been proven as yet. There's um, sort of an investigation going on. We are still waiting word from the authorities to really let us know what is happening. So I guess in the coming weeks or in the coming days, we'll be getting a full story. So you'll be seeing a video um, of the alleged bribe, bribery scandal. And also we'll be showing another video where the member of parliament returned from the IPOC meeting with the other guys in The Hague or uh, from Holland. But what I want to do here is give my opinion because I had a lot of people keep saying, oh, Chris, we're not hearing you now. You're shut down. When it was this one, it was all over this one. When it was this, it was that. And no, that's not the case at all. We simply didn't have the show because I had no one to run the operations for me, but my engineer is back and I'm happy for that. And I'm going to give you my opinion as I see it and how I feel thing should go. I want to show you guys something that I have in my hand here again, right? I want you to see it. This is the Constitution. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to bring it up good to the camera so you can see. This is the Constitution of Country St. Martin. This is what I have in my hand. So everyone who has one, they should go and get it. And we're going to turn to chapter 4. Article 56, we'll be reading a piece from there, and this will sort of sum up, you know, my opinion as to how I see things and how it should be done. And I want to be clear, again, it is my opinion, and I'm going to say it and speak it how I see it is. It doesn't mean that I'm right, but I'm just reading from the Constitution. Now, like I said, it's an alleged bribery scandal we don't know if it's truthful we don't know if it's fake we don't know if the tape have been ducted we don't know if you have been um, um set up we don't know what it is all right but i'm gonna say this here and it shouldn't come as to no surprise as to the things that i just say because i try to say things as they are and in relations to this story honestly my opinion I believe that the gentleman in question, Member of Parliament, Patrick Illich, should resign. Not only should the Member of Parliament resign, but also the Minister of Justice should resign. And I'm going to tell you one. I'm going to tell you why, sorry. You can't separate one from the other. You can't take out the, 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 the yolk from the egg because, you know, here we have a Member of Parliament in an alleged bribery scandal, also mentioning the name of the Minister of Justice involving in this whole scandal. And this is my opinion. And for to satisfy the curiosity, the anger, the, 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 the disappointment, the embarrassment of the country, of people, I think the conscientious thing or the conscientious thing for the member of parliament and the minister of justice to do right now is to resign from their post 
and let the investigation take its role. You guys should not be functioning in the positions that you're in because the rule of law must supersede. And it has stained our country, stained our government, and tarnished the name of the future members of parliament to come. So I just want to read some. That's my opinion. I just want to read something from the Constitution. Right, and then when I finish read from the Constitution, we're gonna show the the, the 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 alleged bribery tape, and then I'm gonna come back to the Constitution again, and then we're gonna show a piece where the Member of Parliament has returned to St. Martin. So, the Constitution, Article 56, Chapter 4, states: The members of the states shall make the following oath, declaration, and promise to the governor before accepting their appointments. I swear, declare, that I have neither given nor promised anything, nor shall I give or promise anything, howsoever described and under any pretext to anyone, whomsoever either directly or indirectly in connection with my election as a member of the states. I swear, promise, that I shall not accept any promise or gift from anyone at all, either directly or indirectly, in order to do or refrain from doing anything in the course of this appointment. I swear, promise, allegiance to the king and the constitution of the kingdom, that I shall always help to uphold the constitution of St. Martin and I and, and that I shall champion the interests of St. Martin to the best of my ability so help me almighty God and I hereby make this declaration and promise now this is what the constitution is saying this is what article 56 is saying chapter 4 of the constitution this is not what Christopher is saying St. Martin people go on the website Download article, download chapter 4, look at article 56, and you figure it out yourself. You talk about it yourself. You see the, 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 the talk in here, and, and, you know, and when everyone comes to you with a story, is they say, and I hear this, and this one say this, and this one say that. And everybody is getting some information from some re reliable source. Boy, I get it from good source. And they say he arrested here, and they say he do this. And they, Listen to me. Listen to me. If you were not there in present by yourself, stop saying they say. Because what that does is add more rumors and in the windows to the case. We have to stop wanting to get and be divulging ourselves into melee. This is what the Constitution says. Article 56, Chapter 4. Get it and read it for yourself. I'm going to read it one more time. Before we play the video, Article 56. The members of the state shall make the following oath, declaration and promise to the governor before accepting their appointments. I swear, I declare, that I have neither given nor promised anything, nor shall I give or promise anything howsoever described and under any pretext to anyone, whomsoever, either directly or indirectly, in connection with my election as a member of the states. I swear, promise, that I shall not accept any promise or gift from anyone at all, either directly or indirectly in order to do or refrain from doing anything in the course of this appointment. And it goes on. I swear promise allegiance to the king and the constitution of the kingdom that I shall always help to uphold the constitution of St. Martin and that I shall champion the interests of St. Martin to my best of my ability, so help me almighty God. 
and I hereby make this declaration and promise. That is what the Constitution says, Chapter 4, Article 56. People of St. Martin, get the Constitution and read it for yourself. Stop leaving people tell you this and tell you that. You decide for yourself. I am giving you my opinion. I feel, I believe that the Member of Parliament and the Minister of Justice should resign their post because both have been implicated right, in this alleged bribery scandal. We're going to play the tape here now. I know many of you guys have saw it all the time, but this is what the tapes look like and then we're going to come back. The minister, we were trying to meet you before, but then it, it tightened up. And you, you, some of you was uh, Angola, some of you are Oh, me? Yeah. I'm not a fighter. One second, guys. Facebook. Do, what things we need now? Do um, we know yeah, that? Okay, the light, the phone roll on that. Yeah, happy. Um, the other thing, copy, uh, roll on paper. And give me some of your business on, like, where you registered at the chambers or something. Okay, start yeah, let me see. And um, that's it. You see, um, this guy, you remember Frederick? Frederick? Who? Frederick, he worked in economic affairs. He now moved and he's working. Registratie van waar? Van de Kamer van Koophandel? Yeah. The Koophandel van dat. Um, and the license. The other license that you had before, and then the one from the. Yeah, well, that's the license, okay, from 2006. Yes. And then you have the one, then they're going to see what exactly is. Uh, Kamer, oké. Okay. Hey, ik wil een andere vraag, hè? Want omdat de, 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 vergeet het verhuizen alsjeblieft niet. Verhuizen uit de rest. No, we hebben dat al gehad. Van zuster Patentia. Ja, en Boeing. Je komt van. Het nou, de nou. Road, maar ik kan die er alsjeblieft in zetten dat wij. Uh, de, want dat hadden we. Dat was normaal bij Maho. Dat de sluitingstijd vijf uur s ochtends is of zo, weet je wel. Dat ik niet. Uh, dat, ze, dat ze kan zeggen, je moet dicht om vijf uur. Of vier uur. Ik weet nog nooit hoe ze weer eens gaan zeggen van ja, alle bedrijven moeten zo en zo laat dicht, al die bullshit. Maar hoe leed je ook ook Nou, omdat het nooit overgeschreven is van Maho, dat is het verhaal. Ja, ze kunnen niks doen, maar ik bedoel, ze kunnen lastig. Oké, dan, oké, ik heb het tellen. Gewoon openingstijden, omdat wij hier breakfast hebben. Dat is wat we wilden met je doen, dat is wat je kunt vertellen. Ja, maar dat, dat, hey, vandaag was het van de kinderen, ik heb beloofd dat ik mee zou gaan, vandaag, morgen, dinsdag gaan we allemaal weg, dus uh, okay. kan ik nou niet gaan zeggen, ja. Dat, Oké, ik wil tellen. Ik moet ook vader spelen. 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 Niet, niet gelijk schreeuwen, maar ik heb 15 heb ik nou op het moment alleen. Ja, maar we zijn er bijna man. We zijn er bijna, toch bijna gereden. Ik weet, ik doe het morgen weer dan. We zijn er bijna. Ja, nou nog alleen... Alleen dit. Het is zo, dat is ik denk, Weet je waarom we hebben echt een fucking rustige maan? En ik ga gewoon niet te veel uit de zaak halen. Als je te veel uit de zaak haalt. Als je te veel uit de zaak haalt. Wacht, dat is niet anders. Als je te veel uit de zaak haalt, dan valt dat op wat natuurlijk. Snap je wat ik bedoel? Ik heb nou mijn eigen salaris erbij gedaan, man, van september en van uh, oktober. Ik wil er ook zo snel mogelijk vanaf, Patrick. Ik heb het al gezegd, ja. Ik heb het van de one. We, we, I don't think you're the trust us or whatever. Ik wil er ook zo snel mogelijk vanaf. We, we definitely, um, yeah, I don't think we're in the position. Udo. Wait, who? The last time, boy, was in a way. Crank told me, you know, I think he wanted to extend one of the girls, and some girls are still. No, kijk, sometimes, soms, hè, meiden, die, uh, die zijn echt goed. Yeah. Die, die willen dan, uh, ik geef je nou een voorbeeld, die we nou net aangenomen hebben, die kunnen tot eind februari blijven. Zou ze liefst nog een week of twee erbij willen hebben. Niet meer, moet je gewoon gaan, maar dan hebben ze net de Heineken gehad erbij. Mm. Snap je, ze zitten nou ook in. Ik kan ook met Udo, dat is wat de Udo is, de Hij begrijpt ons wel. Ja, maar ik wil lezen. Wel, hij zei lezen, Bob, je kan. Udo, met die came here to get down. They didn't want him. I found to Roland. I said, let Roland explain to me why it's okay. I said, Udo, he sat in a meeting trail. I said, listen, yeah, man, this is Roland, go ahead. Hey, luister, wat is die verhaal dan met die fucking Malin bullshit? 
Ah ja, ik heb dat gewoon gehoord, hè? Dat Marlin uh, tegen je had lopen te lullen dat jij. Uh, ik, weet, ik weet er niks van, Patrick. Ik zeg het alleen maar, wat ik gehoord heb. Daarom kwam ik ook naar jou toe. Patrick, only for the money, een beetje dienst en whatever. En je toch me dat zo Nee, maar jij had hem toch gepakt, zei je toch? Ja, yeah, we of course, we had een big stand, because he was about bullshit. We need to move our government. Oké. Okay. Oh, okay. Maar afvoeren. Maar niet dat ik, uh, whatever, dat hij niet uh, weet ik voor wat. No, he doesn't know so much. Nee, dat is de laatste. Want die man die houdt niet van witte mensen, hè? dat is het verhaal. Snap je? Listen, fuck him. We control the government. Okay. But yeah, I don't mess with him. And I just told him the time and I think, listen, no, let's do what the fuck you got to do. Ja, laatst had Frans ook problemen met hem met de dingen. They don't like to stand for nothing. Ja, ik blijf zo ver mogelijk bij die man in de buurt, want ik weet dat hij mij helemaal niet mag. Ik doe, ik doe altijd heel aardig tegen hem. Hallo meneer Marleen, nou joh, wel, wel, wel. ik weet dat ze verjaardag is in oktober, toevallig. Maar dat heeft hij me een keer verteld, maar voor de rest blijf ik bij Marleen. Ik ben helemaal van Colombia in Nijden. Maar hij heeft respect. Listen, wat hij zei, dat ik heel erg deze, deze kopjes, wat moet ik nou mee doen morgen? You have for me now? Nee, dat ga ik morgen allemaal regelen. Het is een dus heel druk weekend geweest, okay. maar we hebben heel slecht weekend gehad met druk. Ben dan een pick Ik breng ze wel voor als je wil. Ik kom wel naar de stad. Call me, when you reach call me. Oké, okay, nog wel. Then I go to the girl, because you appoint a lady to work along with me. Oké. On this. Because Perfect. tomorrow afternoon I'm going to do some. Oh shit. The, the sewing center that we get out of town. Wat ga je doen? The sewing center. Put one here. Justice within justice, but you can put for swing center. Swing center? Om te naaien, hè? Die jonge meiden en zo. Om wat te naaien? Kleren. Uh, <laughs> is die specifiek? School uniforms. Gaan we even aan. Doe maar één keer zien. School uniforms. 100% katoen. Alsjeblieft. De kinderen hier ook dragen geen 100% katoen. Die krijgen allemaal uitslag. Ja. 100% katoen moet het wezen. Niet, niet 95%. Ik zei dat het niet. Tuurlijk, 100% katoen. Katoen neemt je kleding. Dat werpt je toch zelf ook altijd aan. Hier in die scholen hebben we allemaal nylon shit en weet ik wat allemaal. Die broek ook is belachelijk gewoon. Ja. Weet je ook belachelijk vind ik de Pieter School? Is de kinderen moeten zwarte schoenen aan. Dat is normaal man. Nog uh, warmer. Wat Nog warmer. Yeah, yeah. Dat doe je in uh, Siberië. Als het uh, koud is, maar niet zo'n fucking cream. Blijf voor de kwinten. Gewoon even drink? Uh, Oké. Okay. Ik heb niet een jachtje voor de shutter. Wat is je zak, jong? Ik heb niet eens een verdacht vandaag, man. Ik ben even net. Ik was zo blij dat ik vandaag ook nog eventjes wegkom. Ik ben hopen dat je niet overvallen wordt. Let me take this. Oh, oh, you need to. Yeah, you need this. Nee, je mag, je mag, je mag, je mag die bril meenemen, die wil ik niet. Ja, dit is voor mij, man. Yes, en, en, en. That's the alleged bribery scandal tape that is going on right now. And I wanted to make some, um, how should I put it, some pointers in relation to the tape. Because, you know, since it has broke loose or come out, we have everybody saying all kind of stuff. I even read one of the blogs where the Minister of Justice said it could be the fake dollars from Bada Bing he was putting in his pocket. And I'm saying to the Minister of Justice, listen to me, my friend. Get off of the blogs. Okay? Get off of the blogs. I see here in Gromikio back and forth with this and back and forth and that. All right? You, it, it, this is not justifiable. So for right now, resign. And people are saying, yeah, but you're doing this. Listen, I just read the Constitution for you. Patrick Illich, Member of Parliament, is a legislator. He's a lawmaker. He doesn't work for the Chamber of Commerce. He doesn't work for the Economic Affairs Department. And even if that is the case, if you want to say, well, he's doing stuff, the minister that is appointed under him is a minister of justice. So even if we say, yes, we're going to get these documents for you, the minister responsible for that is Romeo Pantaflet. So then we're trying to figure out what it is you doing asking for this license and getting other girls and then and, and, and that is not your job it is not your role so then it seems as if it goes much higher it goes much higher that is not your role it's not your duty it's not your job to do those things. you're not supposed to be doing favors it is clear in the constitution so leave Mr. Van Yappa, Rapper Yap from Bada Bing, whatever his name is. Leave him stand up in the line like everybody else. Make an appointment like everybody else at the Chamber of Commerce, at the Economic Affairs Department. Put in his license just like everybody else. But let me explain you guys what it is. 
in the new regulations, you can only open until 3 o'clock. Mr. Yap Rap wants to open all hours, like the clubs and things down at Maho. So he won that license. You see? These are the sort of things that happens here in St. Martin. The rule of law has been twisted, bent, corrupted to satisfy these sort of people. And I'm saying this, huh? Everybody is pointing their fingers as members at a member of parliament, Patrick Illes. And rightfully so, because he's the one that we elected and we wanted there. Okay? But let me say something. What's his name? Van Rapp? Van, 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 what's his, what's his, what's his name? Yab Van Hover Heivel. The Dutchman. The Dutchman is just as guilty or uh, is guilty himself, okay, for doing what he's doing. He's guilty. And he has been looking, you know, authorities have been looking at him for a very long time. So the one who's given the bribe and the one who's taken the bribe, they are both guilty. And this is criminal. All right? This is criminal. So I understand when Van Rack and all, let me say this about St. Martin and saying this and saying that. But we here in St. Martin are going to deal with what we have to do. With. And let me say this, and I say it all the time. Okay? Yes, the Dutch has a responsibility towards St. Martin. But listen to me, St. Martin. The Dutch is in no moral position. The Dutch is in no position to levy moral condemnation on St. Martin. Not the Dutch. So I am saying to you, the people of St. Martin, you're the ones who need to hold our politicians, our elected officials accountable for their wrongdoings. You hold them accountable. Don't leave the Dutch influence you in what should be done or what you should do to your people that you elected. Because the Dutch themselves, the Dutch themselves are in no position to levy moral condemnation on St. Martin. But that is our role as a people, as our role as St. Martin. That is what we are supposed to be doing. This is the reason why I have to say it as it is. Okay, now, the good member of parliament is talking about coming Monday, he will be reporting himself to the prosecutor's office, you know, you know, as, 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 as the days goes on, more things will come to light. Listen to me, this was done last year in September 2012. So, why didn't you bring things to light then? You bring it to now because the tape has been released. You know? My thing is the embarrassment. Even Fox News has picked it up. Fox News. I saw it on Fox. I read a piece of it on, 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 on the blog from Fox. It's all over the world. It's viral. It's, it's, it's gone. But I am saying we will come back from this. We will come back from this. All right? But right now, I am waiting to see the Prime Minister and hear from her. I am waiting to hear from the Deputy Prime Minister also. And I'm going to tell you why. I cannot mince my words in this relation. You know why? Maria Boncampo have done much less. And we were all over her to resign. We were all over her to resign. So I want to hear from the leaders. And I don't want to hear the story. It's in the hands of the court. Leave justice, do this. And I make no comment because that is crap. Article 56 states and says it clear. Okay? It states clear. You can't twist it. You can't turn it. It's in the Constitution of St. Martin. The Constitution of St. Martin says it clear, Article 56, Chapter 4, in no uncertain terms. You are not to take any gifts or give any gifts. You need to refrain from it to do or not to do. It is clear in Article 56. So we don't want to hear that the court said this and the court said that. And Minister of Justice, you are out of order. To be on the blogs back and forth in defense. Hold the rule of law 
and what the article and what the Constitution of St. Martin says. Okay? This is the reason why I'm calling for your resignation and also the member of parliament resign now. And then let us see where the road takes us. You can always be reappointed. Okay? But do the honorable thing. Do the conscious thing. Do the right thing to save face in here in St. Martin. Resign now. Let us play the tape where we have... Um, it is kind of sketchy. Right? It will be sticking a bit, but this is the best quality that we got. Trying to do the stuff. Again, let me use the terms. For the people. This is the tape that we got where the member of parliament returned from Holland today. As I tell them, Judy, um, there's a lot, there's a lot that meets the eye. In the coming days, you will see more revealing. That's all I will tell you. And make sure you pay keen attention to that. Okay? Love you guys. Love you guys. I am not at liberty right now. I, I, I have a case going on, so Judy, you must understand for me. I know it's thing, but that it, it has to suffice you for now. Okay? I have no comments on that. Really. I am reaching home now after a long day. So just um, I could have tried to hide it. I don't. I'm not gonna hide, but I'm tired. I just wanna get home so I can relax. I don't know. Maybe they might be coming to take me now. But if they come, I'm ready. Tomorrow morning, God's willing, Patrick John, it, it will be reporting to the public prosecutor's office. Okay. Love you guys. But I gotta run now. What time? What time are you going to the prosecutor? I don't know exactly. I don't oh. know exactly. It's an alleged bribery scandal. Right? I mean, you have the Minister of Justice saying, as all you know, it could have been the fake dollars from Banner Bing itself. Right? Well, whatever it is, it is. Right? But I am saying, as it looks right now, as it looks right now, the good thing for the country is for the Member of Parliament and the Minister of Justice to resign. And people will say, well, what the Minister of Justice got to do with your name was called? Your name were called. And it was called in relations of trying to get something or do something. For, should I read the article also in relations to the ministers? Okay? Because that is, that, that is Article 50, 41. It is also here. I could, I could read it now. I could read it. So, I mean, we need to stop. Listen, let me read this article also. Let me read it. The minister shall make the following oath, declaration, and promise to the governor. It is the same thing. I swear that I have neither given nor promised anything, nor shall I give or promise anything, howsoever described and under any pretext to anyone whomsoever, either directly or indirectly, in connection with a securing my appointment as minister. It is clear. It is clear here. All right? So it, 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 the, the article is similar to the members of the state. All right? Listen to me. We are talking about being in a so-called new country. These things are unacceptable. And we are going to going, going dribble juice around the whole thing and play nice words and put out these words and become the best lawyers and the best investigators and everybody know the law. Under the Dutch law and this law, and you're not a lawyer, but everybody know the law. So everybody can have their own interpretation. Everybody can have their own beliefs. I am going according to what the Constitution of St. Martin says. And I'm saying this, all due respect to the Member of Parliament and to the Minister. St. Martin people are not happy, nor are they pleased with what they have seen and what they are hearing. So you can decide that in the coming days you'll be making a statement. Many things will come to light. That is not our concern. We don't want to know where you'll be going on Monday, Tuesday. What we want to hear on Monday is that you resign from your post in order for the investigation to take its course. And then after, and then after, once you have been cleared, okay, once you have been cleared, you can be reinstated to your position. So for me, it is clear. That is what St. Martin people want here. And I'm encouraging the people of St. Martin. Okay? Stop the rumor and, and, and road mongering in terms of, oh, I hear this and I hear that and this and that and that. Stop it. If you don't have the facts, hush them out. Get your hand on the Constitution and read it for yourself. 
read it for yourself okay again I want to thank you guys for tuning in I want to thank you guys for logging on like I said we ourselves will be monitoring everything that will be happening in the coming days so for all of you guys out there who say that Chris we, you're gone dead you're quiet we ain't hearing you that's my opinion that's my take on it Minister of Justice member of Parliament Patrick Illich resign now that's my opinion member I'm oh, sorry that's my opinion people of St. Martin we'll be back here tomorrow God's prayer our life take care yourself God bless each and every one of you guys goodbye There was a time when people dare not utter a word. There was a time when people were in the dark and searching for accurate information. Just when all hope is lost and frustration hangs in the balance, XSM Talk emerges and broke the silence. Join host Christopher Emanuel for live and serious discussions and hard talk.